Good afternoon, or good evening, or good morning, or whatever time it is for you. It's time for one of my uh, album uh, best, uh, worst to first um, album uh, reviews. And uh, for this uh, this time, uh, I'm going to be doing the uh, super excellent death metal band Morbid Angel. Morbid Angel is the best death metal band that has ever existed. Hands down, there is no competition. I'll never forget the first time I saw them. I mean, it was like, it sounded like noise to me. It was so fast. I couldn't even understand what I was hearing, but I understood enough to know that I should listen to it again and again and again, and so I did, and eventually I got into it, and um, yeah, they, they are fantastic. I've never heard a death metal band come even as close to some of the heights uh, that Morbid Angel has achieved. And uh, with the release of their newest album, Kingdoms Disdained, I thought it was time to put out a uh, list uh, from worst to first. So, without further ado, here are the best Morbid Angel albums of all time. Okay, starting out our list, um, for any of you that are Morbid Angel fans, I'm sure you probably already know what the worst Morbid Angel album uh, ever put out is. Um, there's really no question about it. Um, there's really no doubt about it. It is the super awful Illa Divinum Insanus. Um, my God, I think I'm going to throw up. Uh, yeah, this album is not just the worst Morbid Angel album of all time, but it is the worst heavy metal album of all time. Uh, this album is so bad, I I'll never forget when it first came out. I mean, it is just it is just dripping of pride and arrogance, and not in a good way. I, I mean, in a way where, like, when you think you're so great that you can just kind of do anything, and it won't really matter, and people won't notice. Well, we noticed, and we hate this album. This album is a turd. This is the only Morbid Angel album that I would say do not buy. Every everything else that Morbid Angel has released has been absolutely excellent, A plus material, uh, except for this one, and. Um, yeah, there's not much else to say. Coming up next on our list is the Gateways to Annihilation album. Um, when this album first came out, I really didn't like it. It's kind of the first Morbid Angel album, in fact, really the only Morbid Angel album other than Illid, um, that was kind of slow, and I, I just remember, you know, one of the highlights of Morbid Angel has always been, you know, how, how lightning blazing fast they are and stuff, and and this album was the first one that kind of slowed down a little bit. Um, don't get me wrong, this album's great. When it first came out, I didn't like it, but it's really grown on me over the years. I totally love listening to this album. I still listen to it to this day. Um, but yeah, there's most of the Morbid Angel albums are better, so... Next up on our list is the new one, uh, Kingdom's Disdain. Um, you know, this album just came out, you know, and with Morbid Angel, their stuff is typically, you know, so fast and kind of technical and complicated that for me, it usually takes me a, a few listens. You know, I usually have to like kind of listen to it and let it grow on me before I really start to soak it in and kind of understand where they're coming from musically. Um, and so this album might end up being higher on my list if I were to do this list in maybe a year or something. But uh, but you know what though or wherever uh, this this album ranks on your list this is a great album. Um, I heard some people talk about you know the recording was kind of muddy and stuff like that and I yeah I see their point but you know what it doesn't really detract because I can I can still hear what's going on and it sounds better than you know the Altars of Madness recording so um, you know this album was the, the first out al the first um, non live album to come out after Illa Divinum and Sanus which was an absolute ter terrible album, and uh, this album is back to form. It, Morbid's back. Thank God, Morbid is back. And, uh, yeah, if you haven't picked this one up, you should. It's a, it's, a, it's a Morbid Angel album. It stands up. It's absolutely great, especially the tracks D-E-A-D, -E Dead, and The Righteous Voice are my two picks off this album right now. Next up on my list is um, Morbid Angel's Domination album. Uh, this is an absolutely excellent album, although it was kind of the beginning of the end for me. Um, this was right around the time that uh, David Vinson started getting all full of himself and kind of, you know, with that whole prideful, arrogant, satanic vibe thing that kind of... Uh, you know, kind of started his downfall as a musician, and you can hear it in this album. You can you can kind of hear it, but it's not so pronounced that it ruins the album yet. Um, you know, this is a good album. I would listen to it um, when I used to work at Denny's. I would listen to it uh, after after work every single day. And some absolute, pretty much every single track on this album is absolutely excellent, except for "Where the Slime Live," which honestly I never really got into that song. Um, 
Yeah, yeah, this album is a very good album. You should pick it up if you haven't heard it. Next up on my list is the one that started it all, 1989's Altars of Madness. Um, man, this is a landmark album. I feel sad that it's not higher up on the list. It should be higher up on the list, but, man, Morbid Angels just got other albums that are better. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, man, when 1989, when this album came out, there, there was nothing like it on the earth. I mean, you could argue, oh, what about Napalm Death or whatever? And, yeah... Yeah, Napalm Death had some heavy stuff, but not like not like Altars of Madness. I mean, this just look at the cover. The cover perfectly describes the music on this album. It is like if Chaos were to have order, um, you know, with excellent drumming, excellent guitar playing, excellent bass playing, excellent song composition, total feel, like total like oomph and like gravitas and just. Man, this album is just absolutely classic and mind-blowing. The only, the only real downside of this album is it begins to drag a little bit kind of toward the middle. And, uh, and I think that a big reason for that is that the recording is a little bit muddy and unclear. But honestly, if you just pump the mid up on your equalizer and just jack the volume up, you can hear it fine. So, yeah, this album rules. Altars of Madness. Next up on my list is Heretic. Um... This album gets a lot of uh, gets a lot of slack for the the recording, which has got it's got like a really MIDI kind of sounding recording. But I don't know. I've always loved this album. I, I absolutely from from the first day I heard this album until today, I still throw this album on. It's absolutely sick. I love the music. The writing is absolutely top notch. Pete Sandoval is at his absolute fastest as far as drumming goes. Um, Tucker sounds killer on the vocals. Azagoth is blazing on the solos. A Heretic is a super excellent album. Don't let them tell you otherwise. Next up on my list is Blessed Are the Sick. Coming from the excellent uh, Jesus quote uh, where he says, The healthy do not need a doctor, but the sick are the ones who need a doctor. Anyway, this is, uh, as far as Morbid Angel albums go, uh, this is their most composed and their most orchestrated album, I'd say. The songwriting and the harmonies on this are, are pretty much the top. As far as, like, any of their other albums, you know, you can really tell that a lot of thought really went into this one and composing it and orchestrating it and stuff. Um, and uh, this album is absolutely excellent. And for some bands, this would probably be their best album, except Morbid Angel's got better albums than this one even. So, so here we go. On to the next ones. And coming in at second place, the second best Morbid Angel album of all time, Formulas Fatal to the Flesh. Yeah, this album is just absolutely sick. Um, there's only one album, which I'll mention in a little bit, which beats this one out. This one's got so much energy, so much composition. The solos are just ridiculously great. The rhythms are unbelievable. Um, this, if, this album embodies the spirit of death metal, Formula's Fatal of the Flesh. If you haven't heard this one, oh my God, have you been living under a rock? Pick this one up. This is like one of the greatest albums of all time. All right. The best Morbid Angel album of all time. This is the one that started it for me. Covenant. This was the first one I heard. This is the one I love. This is the one that... Um, I've never heard anybody, including Morbid Angel, top ever since it came out. Um, this is the, for me, in my opinion, this is the album that put death metal on the map as far as a legitimate musical genre. Um, this album is just, it's unbelievable. It's like a punch to the face. It's like, it's like getting beat up for 41 minutes straight. I mean, except for the little break they give you in Narmutaru. Um, this album is just unbelievably just wow I mean I'm speechless I don't even know what to say about this album other than go listen to it go listen to it now stop what you're doing and go listen to Covenant Mormon Angel so that's it folks now you know now you know what the best Mormon Angel albums are ranked from their worst album to their first album you can now go on living since you have this information. And I'm glad that you took the time to, uh, to uh, experience my opinions in regards to this matter. Thank you for watching. God bless you. And have a great day.